Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. And this one is my Pillage October 2019 What to Get Raise Pride Advice video. So let's get started. So the number one thing that I'm always going to recommend all players get is Forsaken Mission Tech. There is no large hole here that you can use in the Forsaken Mission. We do not have the uh, Praetorians or the Inferno Dragons in this in this event, so you can't get any big holes. But what you can do is you can get some smaller tech that will help boost up your holes. And this will be especially important if you're a lower level player. If you're a higher level player, you, you want to keep watching because that interesting stuff towards the end for you. But low level players who want to do better in Forsaken Mission, there are several prizes I recommend getting. The first is Speed System 6 if you don't have it already, because this is a basic engine that can be used on essentially all the ships in the game here. Like I have those currently on my Dragoons, and I'm going to use those on, it's a great engine you can use on pretty much any ship. Also, Siege Targeting is available in this event. In Pillage, you can pick that up too. I still use that on my Praetorians. It's a great thing to use on your Forsaken Mission ships. There is also Hyper 30 offered in this raid here in the bonus tech section. Some people like to use that on some of their... Some people like to use Hyper 30 on their Praetorians or other Forsaken Mission fleets. I personally don't, but it is in here if you want to get it, and that's something that higher level players can do too. If you have less than, I'd say, 5 in your limited right lab right now, I would pick that up just so that you can use that in case the next hole, whatever else we need, needs Hyper 30. So lower level players trying to catch up on the Forsaken Mission, if you have extra points and you know your build requires Hyper 30, go ahead and get that. Also higher level players, go ahead and pick up at least 5 if you don't already have 5, so that you can stay current if we end up needing it somewhere. It's actually in the skirmish tech section right here. Now sprint is also offered in sprint is offered in this in the raid here, and that is something that's very useful in all the Forsaken Mission targets currently. Uh, the pillage targets I've been doing a lot better since I refitted my flagship Imperator's Praetorian to have sprints on it, so it works a lot better. You can also get subaquatic propellant to go with the sprints and help it work, perform better on your on your holes there. Using that is the best countermeasure you want to use for sprints that you can get that's non-limited. Something that's useful for all players under the Forsaken Mission category is in the bonus section. It is the Gale, Gale Force. Um, they're in here. They're 25000 so they're they're kind of pricey, but you can get that and use them. It, once again, if you have less than five, I'd recommend picking them up if you can spare the points so that we can use those on whatever garrison, chip, or other thing that we need to use this next because they are a bit tricky. So if, le if you, anyone has less than five, I'd pick them up. So that's my Forsaken mission. That's the number one category of things I'd go for. Um, you can use your make your own decisions there. But moving on to number two, which is the really important bit, is the siege aspect. Now, we have the raid coming up in a couple days, and this might help you get a little bit caught up to stay current a little bit. Before, if you make the right decisions now and you watch the video, you can perform better in the raid coming this next week. So, the number one siege tech I'm going to recommend everyone get, if they at all can, is the regular Dragoon. This is offered here in this raid, and you do not want to pass this up. There's also the Iron Claw Dragoon, which is offered too, and you can get that because it's limited. It's only the flagship. You can get that once you have the Dragoon and all the other tech built for it. Now, the tech that you want to go with for the Dragoon are things like the Henchman Cannon, which is the weapon that came with it, and the Fast Feed Magazine. They're both in Pillage. You can get both of them. And also, there's every special pretty much you need in here. You can also get Nuclear Accelerators 3, which I have on all my Dragoons. And also wield welded barrel system, even though that's the eradicator special, using it on, that, on the dragoons helps out a ton. Don't worry about getting any armor or CL4 because those aren't really needed in the raid here and the armor you're going to want to use on dragoons is from the Forsaken mission. So for the basic player who has nothing and is just getting started, get the dragoon, then the henchman, then the fast feed, then nuclear accelerators 3, then wield a barrel system. If you already have all those, then you can go ahead and get yourself the Ironclaw Dragoon and the Lancer Pack. Those are the higher level flagship only upgrades. It's a flagship and the flagship only heavy weapons here. The Lancer Pack is a heavy weapon. And you can use those on to make your have your build your fist ship there. If you've got those, you can go ahead and get the ballistic sync drives. 
I have five of those and I'm going to put them on my ships here. Or you could also get the radioactive sync, sync drives if you want it, if you think radioactive damage is worse. Now from what I remember, ballistic damage was higher than radioactive damage in the previous raid. I'm going to assume it's the same here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up, I picked up five ballistic sync drives and I'm going to equip those onto my dragoons. Now, two more siege aspects here. One is the scoundrel. You can get that. And that is going to be able to help you with maybe getting the higher level targets. We had some players using pinches and other sneaky techniques the last raid. I don't know if those will work this raid the same way. But the scoundrel, it's the one ship, it's the it's the one one ship in the fleet uh, designed to go out and prep some targets out before you finish it with your dragoons. So if you're a higher level player, you didn't get it last raid, it's only a couple days build. And the good thing is... There's almost no weapons, and there's there's one weapon and two specials on there, so it doesn't take a ton of extra build time. If you build the hole and you add two specials, that's all you need to have on it. I have mine. I'm going to be trying and using it this, in, the, in this next raid. Now, the last thing you can get is if you want your countermeasures for your dragoon to perform a little bit better, you can get the Hydro Atomizer Nozzle, which is somewhere in here, and that's going to be able to... Oh, looks like my flash has crashed. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and thank you so much for watching to the end of this Battle Pirate video. You can go ahead, like the video, I'm sure you have already, but go ahead, smash that like button, it helps me out with the algorithm. You can go ahead and watch my most recent video on the left, watch the picked for you video, the YouTube algorithm is picked for you in the middle, and subscribe to my channel on the right there. And you can also go ahead, help yourself out, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and that just lets you know when I upload a video or go live, you can be the first to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed, hope this helped, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.